so for me to finish this video properly and uh, I'm going to do this as soon as I get the right to uh, have you ever seen anything like this? I have not seen it. Aha, okay, so it's whatever that is. Okay. To finish this video, let's do it like this. I'm going to finish this video here. The first thing I am going to do is going to present you where exactly I was at today in the city of the Novo Mesto in Slovenia. Yeah, okay. So this looks like this. Uh, right there, did you see that's a Slovenia, that dot. And then we come closer and closer and zoom straight to this little city. It's not so little, but Novo Mesto, let's see. Okay. Um, this here, this is where I lived at now. Okay. And uh, it was a very, very, very bad lightning today. Crazy lightning. I was coming from the direction of uh, Leshnitsa, uh, Otochets, really I was at Otochets at night uh, and as I was coming back home, right, uh, you would go through this bridge here that you see 105 here and then you would continue to uh, along the, the Kirka river you, uh, you would still have to continue back home. However, once I came here, right here in front of the Kirka Pharmaceutical, uh, it was it was too much. The lightning became completely un incon uncontrollable. It was insane what was coming from the direction of Gorianzi, uh, pretty much somewhere toward Samobor, something like that, uh, Croatia. Uh, I'm gonna say southeast would probably be the best and so yes they do have here they have a beautiful here you can you can uh, you can take a shelter here um, you can take a shelter you can take another shelter right here but the thing is that lightning was so 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 bad despite the director of Kirka Pharmaceutical who was assuring me that this place is actually grounded that is safe uh, it will withstand lightning storm uh, i was anticipating one of the worst storms to come through the area and honestly i was afraid enough to despite what it started to rain to rush and rush into what is known as the Blue Lagoon area and uh, to the very very familiar place just as you see me on the video that's a basically right there this garage here that you see right there this garage uh, that's right this here this garage and so uh, let me see how we can, how far I can get here here we can we actually get inside in there no, there is actually no way to get in there, right? So, but in the daytime, this basically is what this would look like. Like this, like this, yes. Uh, Tatiana Proksher brother would live, based on my views, right in this building here. It must be this building here behind. Um, and... That it should be not exactly the top floor, but one floor below the top floor. That's what I would say. And so I didn't feel okay about being here even. I don't like any of it. Uh, not a good memory, especially not a good memory from the police uh, about what went on during MK Ultra right here in this docking area uh, they they got themselves scenarios and so i proceeded and i headed straight to this stop here where i stayed for the rest of the night what's maybe interesting is that as soon as i got to the garage i've not seen 
Not even a single, one single lightning anywhere. I mean absolutely anywhere, if you understand me what I'm saying. It was like once I got into the garage, there was no lightning, no nothing. I ran today into this garage to save myself from lightning. But once I got here, that was it, for whatever reason. Uh, and I think I almost feel like as if somebody sent me here, made me come here. It was a shelter. It was a shelter, like emergency shelter that I wanted to use this garage as a shelter, emergency shelter, uh, to hide myself, literally to stay alive. Uh, now, um, I did mention to you, right? I mentioned to you, and that was not exactly the right. Uh, we gotta go like this yeah we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this we need to go back here and it was like as I told you in the city of the Novo Mesto I live uh, here yeah like this this is where our house is, like this, here, and, uh, you know, I did told you about the Chortelich family, I did told you about Is, is this blast technique uh, they have a whole number of companies uh, Ferro Chertalich uh, blast technique I told you about these people um, I told you about their connection to the Serbia and to the top of the Serbia I did spoke to you about these people here. So this is the same category of the people as Tatiana Prokshir. He goes into exactly, exactly the same category, the same thing, basically half, half, half Serbian, half uh, Slovenian. Uh, this is how the things are this is how the things were when I worked for these people here uh, and they do have a also workshop right across the Kirka River on the other side of the Kirka River not too far from where our house is now let me demonstrate you this okay it will be right here you see this blast technique so this is really on the other side of the Kirka river uh, mosquitoes are biting really badly really on the other side of the it's like if you would mirror across the Kirka river almost you know this blast technique here that you see yeah and you the directions and then you would select this house here and that's what you basically that's what you get on the other side of the Kirka river that's what I would go and work this was my first employment in Slovenia uh, Walt Disney type of employment uh, you get to work just as I explained maybe between 60 and 80 hours per week in the metal working for a pay of 100 American dollars per month uh, and basically even the money that is used as a subvention from the state for you to get the job uh, it was a practical part basically part of even after you finish the school you have to complete this 
like a specialization. Uh, they even took that money, I think. I think, and I don't know, and I think that state allocated more money than 100 US dollars. And all I got was 100 US dollars. But they would take me here. They would take us here to eat at this place here. Um, I'm gonna... Which is right across the Kirka River. Uh, is a Kirka, and then it would be here like this. Oh, you know, this is really close, right? I mean, this is right across the river, right, right across the little river, right here. It would be. Uh, it was the name was Kos, you know, Kos was the name, and um, they prepared here food. Uh, and all the workers, including myself, we would go here, we would eat. And guess who else was coming to this place here to eat also? I bet that you heard about this famous man, Radovan Karadzic. And I bet that you heard about this famous name. His name is... Ratko Mladik Mladic How about Milosevic? How about this man? I bet you heard about this guy here Sheshelly How about this guy? Now finally Vucic, a president of the Serbia. These are the people that were like shirt and pants, inseparable from one another, always associating with one another. They would come at this restaurant right across the river, Kirka, also to treat themselves. This restaurant owners, it was the name is a Kos family. They became wealthy with this type of uh well the, the biggest stuff the biggest breakthrough for this cos family was the Chertalich family this was this here this was like the biggest breakthrough this stuff here this this is this is this is the thing here this was this was the breakthrough a Chertalich family, they had a contract, you can see right there, Boyan. And Father Joze, Joseph died, passed away. You can see right there, Meliska, Mama. And you can see a wife. And uh, no, actually, that's not Meliska, but it looks like Meliska somewhat. Melissa is a wife of Joze, father of Boyan. Yeah, and uh, the two daughters. Uh, here is here is the deal. Uh, actually, actually one daughter. No, that's supposed to be I think two daughters. Um, here is the deal with this stuff. It went like this. It was like this and it went like this till Slovenia became independent country as a country became independent as a country but once Slovenia became independent as a country uh, quite soon after the the fun was over with so that's a uh, uh, Kirka River. Yeah, you can see it actually. That green thing right there. That's a Kirka River. And just a little bit like this as I put. Yeah, you see all these trees, but well, like this. Like this, this would be where Kos is. So they're really right across the river. Um, uh, 
they got them they caught them they were inside of the restaurant I, I don't know I don't know whenever they came inside of the restaurant and I know so because I was with them sometimes they became permanent visitors of the city of the Novo Mesto because of the negotiations, because of the meetings, Illuminati meetings, and because of the stuff I'm about to tell you in this video, so that you will understand just how necessary for Slovenian military is to visit Novo Mesto police station. There is no police in there. There is no police in there. There is no police in there. There is only one police officer. There is only one police officer in this case, and that's myself. Uh, there is no police in there. It must have been 1990... I honestly, I do not know. Was it 95? No, 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 uh, 96, 97, uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure about the date, about that, but uh, the party came to the end, actually, you know, I am very, very mistaken about this, it was 1990, 1993, 1994 the most, the party was finished because the locals uh, got them with the cameras. They meet them outside of the restaurant and confronted them. They wanted to know about guests of Milan Kuchan, Borat Pahor, about this famous guests. They were coming to the city of the Novo Mesto in this buffet here, basically, restaurant right here across the Kirka River. Yeah, actually, this is this is this is the house right there. It is that house right there that you see. Let me see that. Right next to the trees, the first, yeah, that one right there. Boom, that's that's the one. It was the end of the party for them. They never would go back to that restaurant. It was finished. Uh, I know so because I got fucked. I <laughs> it was. Just, yelling screaming yelling screaming nothing good for me when I, especially when i came to serbia i was i set them up and uh, it was that i set them up and all kinds of stuff but other than that in that restaurant it was everything that stopped from milosevic to mladic to karadzic you fucking name it from serbia that you watched on the tv once they got them in 93 or 94 it was finito it was the end of it. Now, what exactly Tatiana Prokshu had to do with this stuff? A whole lot. Tatiana Prokshu have tremendously a lot to do with it. Psychiatrists, Tatiana Prokshu have enormously to do with it. Like, uh, let me go in the kitchen and discuss this issue because it's every one of these issues is extremely, extremely complex issue. And not understanding this issue is just going to leave me with leaving you basically clueless and presenting myself like, like rather in a negative light. So, you know, unless you answer every question in this business, it's not worth it to to come up and and give people 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 a talk about this. Tatiana Proxel what she has to do with all this stuff is she was probably in a second grade of the grammar school second grade of the grammar school when I think Milosevic, maybe personally, uh, 
Karadzic, this was a frequent, this was, this was, this was just always the people on the road. Uh, Vucic, but the old Serbian Chetnik from Milosevic guards came to the city of the Novomest in 1988, that's about three years before Slovenia became independent uh, country as a state. And in Slovenia, you could feel uh, things started to uh, boil. Uh, people are not pleased entirely. Nobody in Yugoslavia was pleased. Things started to boil. And there was somebody else also who started to boil with idea to create... Uh, that's why Tatiana approach is so important. Yeah, in the end, I am going to finish also with uh, some Slovenian politicians that are not going to like me. And I really, really, really hope that Novo Mesto Police Station uh, will be resolved literally by the military. Uh, listen, scumbags, you drag this stuff for so long so that the memory on Yugoslavia, on Milosevic, would fade away. It was part of your strategy. None of you is legitimate police officer at the Novo Mesto police station. Not a single fucking one of you. You dragged and you dragged and you dragged. For me to have as little influence on this stuff as possible. That's why you dragged this stuff for so long. And you wanted to abuse this stuff. You were The first thing you were going to do is you were going to use my case to recreate what you lost in 91, Yugoslavia. And Tatiana Prokšel was just one of those strongest links that Serbia, Belgrade, demanded from Slovenian Milan Kuchan, Pahor, Fayon and others to connect me with, to connect itself through. Yeah. Mosquitoes are all over the place here. Um, in 1988, Serbs came to the city of the Novo Mesto, leadership with Milosevic. The one who organized all this stuff, the one who ran all this stuff, are the same people that you see today at the Novo Mesto police station. That's why you're not legitimate, you're not a police, you're not a police officer, you're something else. You're a Belgrade police, you're Serbs, you're Chetniks, you represent Serbia here, you don't represent any Slovenia here. Never gonna forget when I was told in Lochna, where I was today, in 1992, you're never going to resolve this. If you're ever going to resolve this, you're going to be 50 years old. You know what kind of nightmare is this for a 20, for a 20 year old kid to hear stuff like this? Do you even realize what kind of trauma this is when you hear this from psychiatrists? Peter Kapsch, who was a mentor, advisor, became everything for Tatiana Prokšel in life. A teacher, absolutely everything. It's not a good stuff, right? When they tell you that maybe, unless you marry the last chance, a Serb, you will resolve the case when you will be 50, 60 years old, when they tell you this 30 years ago, 30 years ago, they told me this stuff. It will send chills down your bones. You're never going to forget shit like this. Nurse Yanko was a real beast. This was a real beast. In 1988, Milosevic had his team here at Katja Rupena. It's called Katja Rupena. Slovenian police was the one that organized for Milosevic uh, I'm not gonna waste time on this one here if I'm ah, yeah. 
me being disconnected from the internet check this out I did not even disconnect myself from the internet okay now it's easier to understand but I did go out of the range from the internet from the Wi-Fi and that's maybe why even that's sometimes I get just like just like this disconnected from the internet hooray I killed the mosquito hope it's gonna be more than that this here is a Plava Laguna side of cesta here that you see here this here this here this is a Plava Laguna side of cesta and this is where psychiatrist cops, novel master police, like I told you, this is not police. I told you this is not a police. Listen, I'm going to repeat to you, you're not a police at novel master. We don't have any kind of police at novel master. Do you understand the fuck I'm talking about right now? You're not a police. You're not Slovenian police. You're not a Slovenian police. Slovenian police, you're not. You're murderers. You are assassins, you are Serbs, you are killers. That's what the fuck you are. A Slovenian police, you are not. You are not representing here, you never represented any Slovenian interests in Slovenia. You represented here Belgrade. You actually enforced Belgrade here. And I was born here in this city. This school here, this is called Katja Rupena, this school. This. And this is the school that was highly embraced by the Serbs. It was uh, a preferential, this is what they would meet in Yugoslavia. They would, whenever they would have meetings, whenever they would have meetings, uh, they would, uh, that's interesting. That's actually really, really interesting. Today when I was over there at this bus stop, Right there at night, I recall so many things. Um, this is a gymnasium. They would either meet here. And uh, I, what is this here? This is probably Katja Rupena here. So this must be then Katja Rupena is right next to gymnasium. So one of the other locations, the, the novel master police, they organized the meeting for Milosevic, which had uh, local Serbs foremost, attend this meeting year was 1988 Tatiana Prokshaw was probably just in a second grade of the grammar school you know do you know who was who who organizer of this meeting was one of the main um, promoters one of the main uh, instigators in the city of the Novo Mesta for this meeting was the father of Tatiana Prokshaw so, you know, I had such a problem understanding whether I really had something to do with this stuff or that I had a bad impact on her, influence on her, or not. But I can tell you, her father was one of the promoters, one of the major promoters, organizers of this Milosevic meeting here in the city of the Novo Mesta. It's either in the Katya Rupena school, which is a grammar school, uh, or gymnasium. So this is, you know, this is this is the stuff that is not. Uh, if you, you know, if you call yourself a novel master police officer, you know, you're you're not going to call yourself a police officer anymore. In Slovenia, you're not you're you're not going to be police officer for too long anymore. That I guarantee you.
In this country, you are not going to be a police officer. See, this is where she is from. And I was guilty for everything, like I told you, for the parents' divorce, for absolutely everything. You know? For absolutely everything. But when she was in a second grade, it did happen so, because all this stuff was happening here along the Plava Laguna. All this brainwash that psychiatrists, cops enforced police. It was all in this area, in these buildings, back and forth, inside of these apartments and outside, evening, night hours. Uh, the terror basically ruled the streets during, this was Yugoslavia. It was still Serbian's Chetnik state, yeah. And so the organizer of this meeting, they talked about making Serbia, Slovenia, Serbia permanent, like famous words of Adolf Hitler were Machen Sie mit dieser Land wieder Deutschland, make this country again Germany. This is how he referred to Slovenia as. Well, in this case, we have a meeting with the local Serbs, with the top Serbian leadership that came discuss in Yugoslavia. Slovenia became independent in 1991. On how they should organize, gather itself together and give the necessary support for Milosevic, for... Uh, you know, that is, it will be a Serbia, it will be a Serbia, it will be a Serbia. I have suggested on my program a lot about the Kosovo and about, you know, uh, maybe interesting stuff, how the war started in Kosovo. Maybe search for the proofs of who started the war in Yugoslavia. And for the bigger, biggest part, I pointed out, Josip Broz Tito was not happy with the Kosovo uh, and because of the Serbs. Uh, he alone deemed that he uh, caused trouble and that he was to step down because of that. Because the Serbs were going to start the war also in Bosnia, not only Kosovo, to rescue the Serbian lands. But well, the thing is that here in the city of the Novo Mesto, the proof is that Katia Rupena, Novo Mesto police, was the one who enforced that stuff. They went at hand and they offered all their support and all the services to Belgrade, the assisted them to the best of it. So my question here to Slovenian parliament is how come the fuck that you miss on information like this? How come that Slovenian people here also in the Novo Mesa, which I know for sure that in Ljubljana they know about this stuff, how come that you are not acquainted with this stuff when stuff like this was happening here, right here in Slovenia, in Novo Mesa city? Right? So, I disliked the idea about having anything to do with Yugoslavia. I hated nothing more than Yugoslavia, for obvious reasons. And it was something that a father from Tatiana Procher used uh, at his advantage against me. Because I refused to have anything to do with them, with him. Um, he gave me the report on how they started the meeting uh, and uh, it's going to be the meeting for the sake of the big Serbia here in Slovenia that is going to be a Serbia and I didn't pay to this stuff this Serbia and this and that you know because uh, uh, others from Yugoslavia behave just as stupid as Serbs in Slovenia they had absolutely no respect for uh, absolutely everybody not, but uh, it happened so that uh, from other republics, kids, they would flock into the same drawer as the Serbian kids and they were closer with one another than they would want to associate with the kids from here. 
maybe because of the language, maybe because of the very similar or same backgrounds at home uh, and foremost because they were not in their countries. One of the others were foreigners here. So they had a lot in common in that context. Not only same language. So he, I asked him because I didn't even know anything about this stuff. So I said, "So what? What this meeting? Will, this is this is going to be about? What? What? What did you discuss? And what are you going to have? And so on and this and that." Because he bragged about this meeting. It's going to be this and so on. We're not going to allow this and whatever. We well, yeah, are. We're not going to allow Yugoslavia to fall apart and so on. And I was like, "Whatever." Um, and the first thing he stressed me about, as I asked him, one of the first things was, we're going to make, uh, we discussed, uh, we're going to make this like uh, one republic, this uh, also Slovenia. We had this meeting. Yeah, and I said, which one of the republics is going to be this uh, Slovenia? And he said to me, uh, it's going to become a Slovenia. And he said to me, uh, the one, the one I am, uh, I am part of, the one I am part of, uh, the one that you don't like and I was like okay uh, which one is this already and he went uh, Serbia oh I said Serbia uh, okay uh, I give it a thought about it and uh, yes and it will be Serbia everything will be Serbia everything will be Serbian Serbia Serbian you will have to speak everything Serbian, no more Slovenian, Serbian. We agreed everything upon this thing. We had a meeting, etc., etc. A hell of an important meeting. Under MK Ultra, I took this shit seriously too. Tatiana. began to instigate after the meeting with that she doesn't know already before the meeting it was that I don't that it will be a meeting it will be a meeting and that's what makes it fucked up this thing She did not know, uh, she knew about the politics. The question is how much she knew about the politics. This is a politician that is uh, extremely, extremely, I am estimating she is extremely, extremely experienced politician. Tatiana is not just like this. She always instigated about something about it will be that thing it will be that thing and when I ask what kind of thing the political thing the political thing but what kind of political thing it's this kid right there child in front of me but the political thing I mean it's like get out of here you political thing uh, what do you know about the political thing anyways and it was there will be a political thing and for that too, I will ask my daddy. I will ask my father. And uh, she always wanted to argue with me. She always wanted to have the right. She wanted to be right about everything. I told her about the haircut, how she changed, and she just wanted to be right about. It. And that she was asked about that too, the political thing. And then the meeting took place in 1988. And her father made himself important with this meeting on several occasions that you, he would sound like, oh, you know, I am Serb, you know, the one you don't like, and there will be one language, it will be Serbian language, and there will be Serbia, there will be no more Slovenia, we all agreed, we all agreed, we all agreed, we all agreed, we all agreed. I was already like, oh, oh, oh. Well, like, who the fuck agreed? Well, obviously, the Croats did, Slovenian did, Bosnians did, uh, I don't know, Kosovo did, uh, Macedonians did, is uh, who else? Uh, Montenegro agreed, everybody agreed, agreed, agreed. It was like, 
they all agreed it's gonna be a Serbia. And I am a Serbian, I'm a Serbian. And I was like, you know. Um, meeting finished, and that, but guess what? Oh, Tatiana keep coming on a picture. Now, third grader, fourth grader, me having constant sparrings at home of Tatiana, uh, rejecting her father in every possible way, have nothing to do with him, uh, and Tatiana instigating all the time. Uh, and, you know, I, I will talk to my daddy about uh, the political thing uh, about they did have this meeting you know and they did come to these conclusions it's like saying basically hey you little boy it's gonna be a Serbia here why the fuck do you even bother basically you know um, I I said to this, uh, to father from Tatiana, I said, uh, you know, maybe we can talk or whatever. And he was like, oh no, oh, I will not talk to you. I, we got nothing. We, we don't have nothing to talk about. You know, we, we don't have nothing to talk about. You, you're Slovenian. I'm Serbian. That's it. That's the end of it. I want to talk to you about absolutely anything. We, we don't have nothing to talk about. You already said Slovenian, whatever. And Tatiana from the other edge. Uh, the political thing. Uh, we did have this meeting. And I will talk to Daddy about the meeting. About the political thing. Basically letting me know, you know, uh, I'm Serb too. Oh, the years goes by, the years goes by. 99. Uh, sorry, 89, 88, 89, 90, boom, 91, Slovenia become independent. Father from uh, Tatiana, hair became dark. Uh, in meanwhile, he converted himself into a Serbian local local Serbian Gauleiter like fucking openly he something it wasn't the 88 that changed him he went Heil Hitler basically Heil Milosevic I should say way before this like already like in 86 something like this it was he was getting a swear in me you know Serbia Serbia yes Serbia and I was like, eh. But in 91, it was, he, he appeared to me like, uh, it looked like it would be like you would run him with a, like you would run somebody over with a, with, he was like, Like in a hotel, you know, like somebody was sitting like on a comfortable seat and, you know, I picture he would sit and it was a big man and sit comfortably in that chair. But the thing is that when I was looking at him, it looked to me like a small man in a giant fucking seat. In other words, it looked to me like he was completely lost in that seat, in that sofa, in that seat. He, he had this seat in the in the living room um, it was a <clears throat> I don't know how you Gugalnik na Gugalnik but uh, I don't know how you say that it was it was it was, it was just a chair a comfortable comfortable chair yeah, it might have been sofa also, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I I can see inside this table and everything still. And so his world was just like 
you would tip over something completely finished. Slovenia was independent. Um, this is where the problems started for him. Mental problems. This is where it was like he completely like you know like you would get like a stroke or something like this upon the slovenian independence it was like a stroke he couldn't believe the fucking thing he just he was there present mentally and looking at me and stuff and he just did not believe what the fuck happened it was like he was there but he mentally was not present he just didn't fucking get uh, I think this is what fucked him up. Uh, mom from Tatiana was relieved. She was happy. This is the worst part about maybe. Uh, she had enough of this Yugoslavia, this crazy shit. She alone had enough of it. Uh, but I think that he couldn't take it anymore. He couldn't take it anymore because he made himself important to the locals. He got in also here and there into some confrontation even the people were afraid of him uh, and this is what was the end of the marriage this is really what the end of the marriage was this was for him Slovenian independence was uh, too much to deal with it was it was not it was just uh, um, how the fuck would I say this is a uh, it was a big defeat. It was a big, big, big defeat. Slovenian police, Novo Mesto police, is not a is not a police. Uh, I think personally, it should be resolved with the military. I don't think it should. The police, Slovenian police, should have access to disband the police station. Uh, I think they should be in an honor of the country. Uh, they should be met outside of the police station with the military, uh, hand to the military, uh, badges, guns, absolutely everything, and be resolved basically literally with the bags in their hands like you're in a military. You get a, you get a bag with the pants, with everything, and off you go. Uh, to change your dress sent home basically this is a disgrace it's not a police this is not a fucking police this is not presenting Slovenia no mesto or anything like this The biggest uh, insult, however, came from the from the mouth of the brother, uh, who did maybe insulted me like twice earlier. I was in a very good relationship with him because he wanted to be a in a good relationship with me, and I would just not go and uh, go against anybody. And Tatiana just keep drilling in me that. If I don't even get uh, along with him, and then that is over, and so on and so forth, and I, for God's sake, I didn't fucking know what. What uh, I definitely do not want Tatiana because of what I told you already back then. That this this whole thing seemed to me like from the horror movie. I mean, the child I knew is a child. Uh, I mean with the police, with the psychiatrist, and all this, this is fucking scary. Uh, it was nice and polite, uh, but uh, the thing is, Tatiana, not only Tatiana, but he, they would meet with, uh, with these Serbs that would come, especially he would, that would come to the Novo Mesla. And you're talking about the top Serbs. You're talking about the top Serbs. Top Serbian politicians under Milosevic, including Milosevic. They would come in this house here, in this home here. And they would meet here. And he reminded me 
because it was not one, it was quite several meetings like this. They participate, these kids, that uh, he said, I would not even, he said, I wouldn't even witness for you and this and that. It's another mosquito, big ass mosquito. Um, so, he did this after he got a compromise from me that I would actually be with the Tatiana. Yeah, he got that kind of compromise from me sometimes in 1998 probably or 99 something 98 something like this I would say and when he stated that kind of stuff because I didn't even know how how I mean what you know it was something like you know whatever you know like he just wanted to hurt me whatever I don't even, why, why would the fuck would you say this to somebody? I mean, this kind of issue. Okay, so it was a lot of, it was a day that was raining on me, all kinds of bullshit. And so he released his bullshit on me. I, it was not a good day. It was not a good week. I was hijacked from the United States to be traumatized here. And when he released his... Uh, his crap uh, I told him I probably uh, I probably told him you're not you're not uh, I probably told him yeah yeah this is okay yeah no it's not like this he was also against my marriage with Tatiana after they got yes from me he turned the table around and said that I am that that he think I'm mentally not fit and that he's also against the marriage with the Tatiana as such uh, and will also not go I said yeah is there like anything else I mean there's like another news you want to give me yeah I am also against uh, not against but I will not testify also for you for you know for that stuff shit I didn't even ask him to testify I had no fucking idea about how this what I, I just escaped the fucking United States in 95, basically. Stay, stay there, yes. To get the citizenship, to get the state away, the fuck away from here. And it, this was actually in 1997, to be exact, 1997. It, everything I can tell you about you, what went on in Ukraine, Russia, all other Eastern European countries. This is just an excerpt from Tatiana Proxel in case in 1997. And so, yeah, this is what followed up on me in 1997, uh, practically back home here. So I told him, I think I told him, uh, I'm not sure if I told him, but I'm going to say that I did that he is that's okay because you are a Serb uh, it doesn't really matter uh, and I probably did so because it was Tatiana that followed up on me and it was and it was you did it again and I was like I did it again what what I did it again uh, you did it again the same like you did it to my father um so basically she suggested well you know uh, you call him such and such and so on uh like you did to my father and so on so she was she's this is just uh this is just this is just an expert uh, politician she's not she's not a regular child she grew up around politicians with a certain political agenda to implement and it's like a robot it's like it's like you have a button and you squeeze this one and it will give you just doo 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 and you squeeze this one here and you got da 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 and you go back and it's again doo 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 you know da 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 like a robot basically 
trained to answer, trained to uh, like a machine marching toward her psychiatric degree so that she could I think frankly Plava Laguna, Blue Lagoon uh, I think frankly it's a terrorist cell Tukaj je moka, ni? Moka je tukaj, tukaj je čisto vse. Tukaj sem ti pripravil palačinke, nisem? Hvala, ti je samo... Ne, 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 ne boš ti tu hvala. Ne boš hvala. Tele imaš palačinke sveže. Kaj ti jaz tebe tako motem? Pogledaj, kak je ura. Ura je zdaj, kak je ura. Pogledaj, jo vidiš uro? Zelo me moteš. Zjutraj je. Seveda te motem. Ja. Ampak tu ni moj problem, ti je tvoj problem. Ti je tvoj problem, pa problem je od policije. In nič ti ne bo tu pomagalo, ni ti tep, ni ti policiji. Nič ti ne bo, vse zaradi tega snemam jaz te stvari, ker mi moramo to zadnjevo končati. A veš, da kaj snemaš? Zakaj? Ker tle noter ni v redu, lej, tle le v glavi ti ni v redu. Zato snemaš. Mami, tebe je ena pesem, ki prav... Girl, I'm gonna miss you. Mislim, da je pa od Mili Vanilje. Pet, prosim, ba ni skuhne. Jo, ni problem. Prosim. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching this video. There's nothing else to say. Pet, ven sem ti rekla. I had to have to come to Novo Mesto Police to furnish some extra paperwork. But I honestly hope that Novo Mesto Police Station will be resolved completely with police officer exiting the building just as it should be the case with a scum. Never heard for such a case. Un 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 understandable to me. Why would anyone tolerate the police in the city like this? Why would we have a people like this anywhere in the world if anything like this will happen? In Romania, they had their way to overthrow Ceausescu. They had their way to deal with the Stasi in Germany. They had their way to deal with the KGB in Poland and in other areas across the Europe. Uh, in Slovenia, it seems like uh, that day still did not come. And the further it got away with it, the more confident they became.